Hello, my name is Noah and I'm a student at Warren College. This video will cover the process of waitlisting a class. Sometimes when you're enrolling in classes, you will come across a section that is full. That is, there are no more seats left and you are unable to officially enroll in the class. One option you have is to add yourself to the automatic waitlist. The waitlist is a list of students who have put their name down to enroll in the class if seats open up. Seats might open up if people currently enrolled in the class drop before the end of week two of the quarter or if the department adds more seats for the class. It is unusual the departments open more seats for a class and be aware that most departments will not open additional seats if there are open seats in alternative sections. When a seat opens, the first student on the waitlist is automatically enrolled in the class. No action on the part of the student is necessary. If, for example, you are number four on the waitlist, four seats need to open up before you will be enrolled in the class. Waitlisting a class is a bit of a gamble because you cannot predict whether seats will open up or not. In general, it is not a good idea to put yourself at the end of a large waitlist relative to the size of the class because it might be unlikely that seats will open up. To waitlist a full class, attempt to enroll in it as usual by opening WebReg and clicking the Add button next to the class and section you desire. If the class or section is full, upon attempting to enroll, you will be taken to a waitlist alert page. This page lets you know that your desired section is full and may offer alternative sections, if any, that are open, but it won't list open sections for other lectures, so be sure to also check for those before adding yourself to a waitlist. On this page, you may choose to enroll in an open section, or you can waitlist by clicking the waitlist button next to your desired section. First, select your desired grading option, then click waitlist to officially add yourself to the waitlist. Great, you've added yourself to the waitlist. The WebReg main page will show you which classes you've enrolled in and waitlisted for, as well as what number you are on the waitlist. You can also view your waitlisted classes on Triton Link by clicking on Waitlisted Classes on the Classes and Enrollment tab. Remember that the waitlist goes automatically. If seats open up, you will automatically be enrolled. Keep checking Triton Link to see where you are on the waitlist and whether or not you've been added to the class. There are a few more pieces of information you should know about waitlisting. You may enroll in up to 19.5 units before the first day of classes. Putting yourself on a waitlist will apply towards those 19.5 units. The waitlist ends Thursday of week 2 at 10 p.m. If you are not off the waitlist and in the class, you should try to find an open course to add instead. If another lecture or section does not conflict with your classes, enroll in that one instead of waitlisting for a full class. In almost all cases, it is better to have an assured seat in a class than to take the risk of waitlisting. And that's all you need to know about waitlisting. 